Uh, let's move on to other news now. And world leaders are meeting in Germany to discuss global security policies, the main topic at the Munich Security Conference, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The conflict has led to a change in policies across Europe, including commitments to increase weapon deliveries to Kyiv. For the first time, Russia and Iran have not been invited to the summit. Moments ago, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky delivered a video message to leaders gathered at the conference. We have to liberate Ukraine and Europe, because when the Russian weapon shoot at us, it is already pointed at our neighbors. May Europe be the subject of compromise? No. We have to liberate from Russia's aggressive potential, potential every international institution and every sphere of the world economy, because, because only, only then there will be a chance for freedom to pass through our border further to the east. All right, let's cross now to our diplomatic editor, James Bates, who's been monitoring events in Munich. So, James, tell us more about what's been going on. Well, President Zelensky is the one who's opened the Munich Security Conference, which goes on for the next uh, few days. And it's worth reminding you, Nick, you heard President Zelensky there speaking by video link. Well, I was standing in this very position uh, a year ago, and President Zelensky was here in Munich attending the Munich Security Conference, and that was just days before uh, the Russian invasion. In fact, I remember watching President Zelensky leave through the door behind me, get his, his limousine, and some of the people I spoke to afterwards were saying they were wondering whether they would ever see President Zelensky outside his country ever again. Well, of course, he has gone outside his country, and he's still, more importantly, in office uh, in Kyiv. Uh, and so I think that's why this address, exactly one year on, was uh, very important. Pretty similar language as we've seen from President Zelensky in his recent speeches, for example, when he spoke recently in London, in Paris and Brussels, messages to the international community to do more, making the point uh, that what is lacking here uh, is speed. Uh, he keeps asking for things. Uh, it started with non-lethal uh, assistance that the West was giving. It moved to heavier weapons, then to artillery and now uh, tanks, and now he's calling for fighter jets. But everything he asks for, there's then a long period of delay, discussion, and eventually uh, the West gives him what he wants. But he would like to see the delivery of weapons speeded up much, much more. Um, Ukraine will stay the top issue, I think, during this year's Munich Security Conference. But it's not just what's discussed here uh, in terms of a sort of talk fest. It's also active diplomacy that sometimes takes place on, on these occasions. The U.S. delegation uh, represented by Vice President Kamala Harris, but the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is going to be here too as is the top foreign policy official of China, Wang Yi, the state councillor Wang Yi. Uh, and given all the tension over Taiwan and more recently over uh, the Chinese balloon shot down over North American airspace, uh, there is the possibility of discussions between those two, uh, which, uh, of course, is something to watch very closely. All right, James, thanks for that. James Bayes there in Munich.